Chiefs win 42 to 36. Tyreek Hill honestly had an amazing game at the end of the game. It was a touchdown for a lot of yards, a big pass from Patrick Mahomes to Tyreek Hill where he caught, caught it and ran for a touchdown. Honestly, amazing play in my opinion. And then after that, Gabriel Davis thought another touchdown from Josh Allen, which I think he had four or five on the night. Honestly, very impressive from Gabriel Davis in my opinion. And as well, after that, most of the Bills players thought the game was over with 13 seconds left. But then something insane happened. Patrick Mahomes had 13 seconds to force overtime, and he made a couple big throws to get them down the first down. And I think it was a 48-yard field goal. Honestly, very impressive from Buncter to get that field goal off and make it. Honestly, this was a great game for Patrick Mahomes getting this drive and pretty much winning the game from this drive. And then the overtime that they had, they won the coin toss. He got the ball, threw the ball to Travis Kelsey for a big play and got the touchdown and ended the game. Which, this caused a lot of debate over the overtime rules, which I'll show on the next slide. 2019, after losing in the AFC Championship game, the Chiefs po posed a rule that would guarantee both teams' possession overtime. It wasn't approved, and we know what happened next, which they took this their own advantage and won in overtime against the Bills yesterday, which, honestly, a lot of people were complaining and saying that, that they should give them another chance, but I don't really think so. I feel like I like it how it is now, and honestly, the defense should have not let them get it with 13 seconds left to win the game. And I don't really know. Do you guys think they should change it? Comment below or use the poll if you want of if they should change the overtime rule or not. I just don't think it's really that necessary to change right now. And the another possession, when it just force it in a second overtime, or how many overtimes does it exactly give? I think they need to figure out the rules even more. And I feel like a lot of people are just saying this. Because they don't really like Patrick Mahomes at all. Mahomes and Allen had 300 plus passing yards, three passing touchdowns, zero interceptions, and 50 plus rushing yards. The first time that's been done in NFL history by opposing quarterbacks, which last night in the CBS Kelotas, they did say that whoever got the ball last would probably win the game, which was true because Patrick Mahomes got the ball last and they did win the game. If Josh mm -hmm. Allen mm -hmm. would have got it, I think the same would have happened. What do you guys think about this and what's your opinion on the game? Patrick Mahomes had 188 yards after the two-minute warning, which has, this is honestly insane. That's probably more yards than most people have in one game. And it's honestly very impressive for Patrick Mahomes to be able to do that. Here's what else he did. Patrick Mahomes, four seasons as Chiefs starter, four AFC Championship appearances, which a lot of people doubted the Chiefs offense the whole year this year. And they really impressed me. And I think they're probably going to go on to win the Super Bowl. What do you guys think about this and what's your opinion?